So this is the first year that we've rolled out Summer Bridge STEM, and one of the main reasons that we did it is because we feel that every kid in, in Pinellas County Schools should be able to have the ability to do the critical and creative thinking. This week, the final week, is SolarBot. So they get to actually create like a habitat and a playground that is from the viewpoint or point of view of a cricket, and then their little cricket is like a little solar robot that goes across the playground. I was decorating my box and then after that, we're going outside for to test out the bots because they're solar. They use solar energy. It's been so much fun because we could use the bots and we could play with them. And sometimes we got we got to have parties with the bots. I learned that um, there's lots of solar energy. Like I didn't know about there was rechargeable batteries. So it's one thing just to hear about solar panels because many of our kids have never even seen a solar panel before or they don't realize they've seen a solar panel before. So to have a lasting memory of getting to see a solar panel, build it into a cricket and then be able to create a habitat for that cricket, make an adoption certificate for that cricket and then take it home, is something that they're always going to remember. Um, STEM is really fun. We get to um, like to build them and then that it has a solar panel. It keeps my mind sharp because like like in engineering and stuff, most people don't like engineering and stuff, but I do. We're doing the solar bot, which is a little cricket. It's really small, and it has a solar panel on its back, so in the sun, I don't know how it hops, but it walks around. And I think it's really cool because the solar controls them and not like batteries. I really like this camp because it gives me the opportunity to learn and be creative with all of the STEM products. For many years, she's heard the word STEM and been like, oh, math, oh, science, not enjoyed it. But coming to the Summer Bridge experience, that is why she's gotten up some morning. She said, I'm not going to miss out on the STEM project. So it's been very exciting to see her shift thinking that STEM was boring to STEM is so fun and creative and so many opportunities to play. I think just talking about renewable resources, renewable energy, because they're in fourth grade STEM, so moving into fifth grade next year, they kind of have an advantage that they got to explore that topic, and now they have an applicable experience to use when they get into our fifth grade classroom.